Today I'm going to be talking about this whole Eugenia Cooney situation. If you don't know, Eugenia Cooney is a girl on YouTube, and just on social media in general, who has uh, an eating disorder. And she's tried to get help in the past and has relapsed multiple times. And if you don't know what an eating disorder is, it's basically like uh, you don't eat or like you starve yourself and like you make yourself self throw up after you eat and stuff. I don't know it completely, but that's how I've seen it. And that's how what I know it as. Uh, that's my best way to explain it. Uh, but generally, it's a really bad thing. And it's not good for you at all, uh, from what I know. And uh, Eugenia Cooney has it, and it's very well known that she does have it. And people at the moment, T channels, um, T channels are kind of like the scum of like news community because T -chan channels are usually like really bad and sucky. I'm a commentary YouTuber. I'm a drama news channel i'm not a dang i'm not a dang t channel i'll never call myself one uh but to go with what i was saying uh people have been try t channels specifically have been trying to get her taken down sue her make her look like really bad and stuff like that and talk all sorts about her that just generally isn't true even going down to her basically using a butterfly emoji and that meaning something terrible. And I'm going to be showing a clip from Drama Alert here because I've seen this, I've heard this going around, and this is completely ridiculous. Um, I'll show this clip first. There are these channels here on YouTube known as T channels. They mostly, you know, focus on the beauty community, a girl friendly type of content. And recently, these T channels have started a campaign to ban Eugenia Cooney. Now, Eugenia Cooney is a YouTuber that's been around forever. She's always been super skinny. I think that it is safe to say that Eugenia Cooney is sick. You know, she she needs help. She is sick. And how the T channels want to help her is by banning her. They want her banned. It, like, it's insane. One of them suggested they should sue Eugenia Cooney. That's right, on June 30th of this year, one of them uploaded a video titled, We Could Take Legal Action Against Eugenia. Yeah, sue her. <laughs> sue her because she's too skinny. You know, the, 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 the whole thing that they are saying is that Eugenia Cooney is skinny and she's influencing children, endangering children to be skinny. So she needs to be banned. She needs to be removed. We need to sue her. It, it, it's, it's insanity. You don't treat sick people this way. An amazing video was uploaded by The Willie Mac Show exposing these T channels for trying to deplatform Eugenia Cooney. Here is a clip from that video. Roll it. Attached to this photo, she has a caption that says, what you think about yourself is more important than what others think of you. So in this photo, it seems like on the surface, it's about like positivity and self-love and self-care and things like that, which are great and wonderful things. Watch how she'll twist this. However, I have a hard time believing that this caption is about loving yourself and wanting to take care of yourself because clearly she is not taking care of herself. Well, she's not getting better. So clearly she's trying to indoctrinate the youth. So people who are sick with a mental and physical disorder can't write positive messages. She has a clip where she sits here and picks apart how Eugenia looks. In this photo, she's posed and you can see her arms, her tendons are very pronounced. You can see her collarbones. Yeah, man, she's anorexic. They have arms too. She then follows this up by saying, And I'm not gonna go too deep into what she looks like in the photo because I don't think that's productive. Bro, you just did that. You just described every part of her body, her tendons. What more could you have said? And people love this, man. They ate it up. I never left a comment. This really is a fantastic video. No, it's not. This is one of the most toxic videos I've ever seen. She's become somewhat of a YouTube villain. And some of the things she does just seems too much of a coincidence, like posting captions with a blue butterfly. There you go, guys. A blue butterfly. That's the hard evidence. That's why Eugenia Cooney has become a villain. The blue butterfly has been linked to pro Anna circles before. Eugenia actually responded to this. Just so you guys know, me posting a butterfly emoji is not at all meant to mean anything bad. I just like butterflies. There's really no hidden message to it. Probably the most rotten part about all this to me is these T channels are always framing their videos as if they're the hero. I reached out to Eugenia and asked if she would be willing to watch that video. Uh, I thought that maybe it would help her and maybe she would be able to relate to it and it would inspire her to get the help that she needs. Unfortunately, she didn't respond. I thought for a long time about what else I could do 
to help Eugenia and to help other people who are struggling with this. And the only thing I could come up with in my head was to unsubscribe from her YouTube channel and to report her Instagram account and unfollow. What? What is happening? Okay, what is happening to this entire community? That cancel culture has got so insane that we're going to ban sick people. We're ban the sick people. Now, why is this bad? She is sick. She has a mental disorder. I think it's a mental disorder. It might not be. It might be. But generally, she is shit. See, she. But generally, she is sick. Uh, I stuttered on that. In general, uh, and overall, she is sick, and she needs help. And taking all this down and like trying to deplatform her isn't going to help at all. And um, even I never, which I'm very disappointed and mad at that he has that has such a big following, um, agreed with that video and saying it was a good video. I I'm very disgusted by that, and it really did make me mad. I was gonna make a video just on that, but he deleted it, and I don't know if that means he's hiding it or if he's apologized. But from what it looks like on his Twitter, he's not apologized for that statement. This is a very bad thing to try to do to someone that needs help. This isn't helping her at all. This is just making someone that's already sick and mentally unwell just worse. Like, why would you attack someone that has a sickness like this? It's like saying, oh, this girl's depressed. She cries on camera all the time. Let's just ban her. You know, it's like... <laughs> Also, I don't see how she's influencing other people. She's more so spreading positive messages on her, uh, on her, like, tweets and on her Instagram account and these captions. Like, she's more so spreading positivity than saying, yeah, you should look like this too. Does this encourage people? People literally make videos saying, like, this is bad and stuff like that. So, no. If you watch Eugenia Cooney, you'll most likely find a Eugenia Cooney, uh, video of people saying, hey, don't do this, this isn't right. And she might even say that herself, too. Um, I don't know. I don't watch her, I don't uh, look through her social medias. But generally, I'm pretty sure that she isn't really influencing many people. Very disgusting that basically people are trying to take her down and stuff like this. And this guy, like, explains it pretty well that these people are very irrational and these people are being ridiculous with their statements. Um, generally, what do I think y'all should do uh, for Eugenia Cooney is to comment. Just to comment, like, hey, get some help and stuff like that. Um, generally, people have uh, got her help before, but she just relapsed and stuff. Or she, like, got herself some help, but... Uh, she ended up relapsing and stuff like that but generally th the way that they're trying to go without it they're trying to help but it's like what people are doing in the current time and like other situations not just this they're doing the worst way like they're wanting to help but they do it the worst way possible and that's a very repeating topic right now on just not more than social media but in real life a lot of people are doing that as well i have to say do not go harass her do just be be nice about it. Don't harass her over it. Because if you harass her about getting help, it's not going to work at all. Harassing people just makes it go, like, away. Like, makes you more away from it and stuff like that. And generally, um, I would say, like, this isn't hurting her. But it, it might be. I'm not sure. I know that eating disorders aren't the best. Uh, I don't know what all the negative side effects are. But I just know that they aren't the best. Generally, um... I'm pretty sure she's a nice person and all that. I don't think there's really anything bad about her. It's just that she has a problem and she needs help with it. Uh, tell me what y'all think about this in the comments down below. I generally do think it's disgusting what these two channels are doing. Please don't listen to them and please don't follow any of these t channels because they literally stick stick to news channels like Scare, Drama Alert. Some of these people don't go to I Never because I Never is more so a T channel now as well, and more so is on that lady's side that made such bad points. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Sorry that I've not been uploading recently. Just school has been really on me, and I just don't really have time to at times. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.